My name is Kevin Moore, and I've been in Portland for about 13 years. I moved out here from Buffalo, New York, uh, in November of 95. In fact, I actually remember the dates. It was November 6th, we left Buffalo and took a three and a half day Greyhound bus trip across the, the country. Um, and uh, and got here November 9th, and we were thoroughly exhausted. I started drawing cartoons before I knew how to write, before I knew how to read, for that matter. I think I was about four years old when I just started drawing cartoons because um, I really loved the funny characters I saw in the daily comics. And I had a next door neighbor who, and I'll never forget this. this is, it's kind of part of my, you know, my origin story, my origin myth. Um, is he uh, showed me how to draw this fist, right? Fist going pow, you know. And uh, it was great because it was just this fist and this little star going around it. I just thought that was like the coolest thing. I'm five years old, whatever. But I just thought that was great. I don't think my cartooning really took off though until I moved to Portland. I mean, Portland's had such a huge influence on my cartooning interests, my my awareness of comics. There's such, and I and I had a feeling it would do that when I moved out here because in Buffalo I knew people who were into comics um, and who introduced me to really great comics. But I noticed most of those comics were coming from the Pacific Northwest anyway, because of Dark Horse and because of other cartoons like Joe Sacco and a few other people who were from the Portland area that I admired, plus all the, uh, the, the growth in Seattle of the Fantagraphics uh, community, and there's a strong uh, comics community down in San Francisco. Um, so I kind of figured, and I think I was right, is that uh, because Portland's situated between the two, it definitely benefits from a lot of the cross traffic, cross flow. I met a bunch of other cartoonists who, ironically enough, were coming from the East Coast. And most of the cartoonists I know are from either Massachusetts or Michigan or uh, Pennsylvania. Um, there are a few from Seattle and a few from California. Most everyone's just a transplant. And we've learned a lot from each other, whether it's, you know, new things to read new developments going on in the industry, new techniques. You know, we all do different things. We're not just all either underground cartoonists or we're not all just superhero cartoonists. We're, we're everything. I mean, and mo most of my friends, we just have such huge, diverse interests in comics and, 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 uh, and cartooning. Um, and we come together with our different sensibilities and uh, and I think really have a positive, enriching uh, effect on each other. And I think you'll see that reflected in um, the Stumptown Comics Fest, which unlike, a, I think, a lot of other comics conventions, uh, it's not like San Diego, which is pretty much taken over by Hollywood, but it's not like Ape, which is a great convention unto itself, but it, which is very much more alternative press oriented, obviously, in its name. But it's not like your kind of flea market, you know, basement thing that goes on with a lot of Comic Cons. Um, it's this real great blend of, uh, of artists and publishers and, uh, and most of them very independent, but some of them corporate, but we're getting together and we're sharing uh, our ideas and our, our perspectives and our artistic sensibilities, you know. I see so much creativity, whether it's going on in the uh, uh, comics and cartooning community or if it's going on in the writing community, you know, movies seem to get made here a lot. Uh, obviously there's a huge uh, music scene that's been here for a very long time. There's a lot of focus on neighborhoods, maintaining a certain level of uh, either uh, you know lateral growth or vertical. <laughs> you know, there's a huge debate uh, going on, but the fact that there is this debate is really healthy. You know, I think a lot of great ideas get generated 
I think it's really important that people are so involved with their neighborhoods, with their schools, with their parks, with their neighborhood association. It's a very vocal community. It's a very uh, protest-oriented community. I used to, when I worked as a temp downtown, I would go out on my lunch break, and invariably I'd just stumble across a protest march. And more often than not, it was something I agreed with. So I just joined them for like my lunch break and get something to eat and go back to work. But you know, it was like a really cool thing to be able to like you know somehow be civically engaged and just even in a most casual way like that.